humans have changed the way they live in so many ways over the years, but in so many ways, nothing really has changed. Hundreds of years ago, we used to live like this. Farmers would break the ground to grow food and crops using oxen and, and, and working the land by hand, sowing the seeds and harvesting everything by hand. Uh, groups of uh, men would get together and play some cards and drink some whiskey, maybe listen to some music. Um, you know, there's many a story came out of uh, this pastime. For the people who had uh, maybe a little bit more money there, you have the man reading the book using his mind to take an adventure from his chair there. Uh, again, for people with a little bit more money, they have their own private entertainment within their own home where we see a man here listening to a woman play a harpsichord. Uh, this would have been edge-of-your-seat entertainment for the time. Women, pretty much, they were in the house. They cooked. Here's a woman using a wood stove breaking fresh biscuits. This would be pretty much where you would find a woman in that in the old days. Now this lady looks like she's having some fun here. She is doing some knitting, probably working for the house and looking like she's having some fun at the same time. Another great American pastime from back when, whittling a stick. Here's old grandpa teaching the boy. Here's how you whittle a stick. Add your seed entertainment again for the time period. Now for people who had a little bit more money again, you can go to the theater and watch a rousing rendition of of uh, some swashbuckling action here. Uh, again, everything had to be live, no technology. And you had your family dinner or friends over where the main entertainment again was just uh, people talking about their day or or maybe uh, some politics of what's going on in this day and age. Now these days, we live a little bit more like this. Uh, here's our farmer now. He's still breaking the ground, but look, he's in a tractor. He's got GPS planning, he's got air conditioning, he's got a radio, and he's probably got a lot of ones. He has no idea what they even do. Here's those old men drinking their not whiskey anymore, most likely beer at the bar, while they are still probably betting now, this time on a game, where someone else is actually physically doing something while they just sit and watch. Women have really changed. This is Megan Smith. She is America's Chief Technology Officer for the United States of America. She got her training from Google. She moved forward from knitting pretty quick, I think, here. Another wonderful woman here, Cynthia Brazel. Uh, she built a $2.3 million robot to help people around the house. Um, she definitely got out of the kitchen. Now, our old man, he's not whittling the stick anymore. He has found a cell phone. Um, put down the pocket knife, a lot safer, not going to cut himself, and uh, just got a text message, looks like. Grandson? Um, well, maybe Grandpa's talking to him right now on this new cell phone that uh, he just can't quite seem to believe what Grandpa's telling him there. The old man with the book and the chair, well, he's still there. There's his electronic book sitting in the chair. It just happens to be that his chair is floating up in the sky now. Here's our family dinner. The family talk has been replaced by technology. Everybody's got their nose in something electronic. Theater, well, here it is. Still telling the story, people get together in the theater, but now it's all electronic and but pretty much the same thing. Okay, now there are some things that just don't change. There's a little boy with his fishing pole from way back when. He's getting ready to go out and do some fishing. Good thing for a little boy to do in that age. And here he is today, wearing some different clothes, but he's got his fishing pole, and he is fishing. I bet that lake has not changed a bit. Some more outdoor activities that haven't changed. This is a group of people that are out doing some mountain hiking, uh, getting some fresh air uh, out in the wilderness. And again, 
same picture. Here we are, a group of people from today that are out doing some mountain hiking and getting some fresh air out in the wilderness. Um, connection to nature really hasn't changed. Here's one of the oldest things. This is a tribesman with a surfboard. He actually keeps himself in shape. Surfing was actually originally invented as a way for tribesmen to keep in shape. Um, now, here's a, a the women now are able to do this. There's a championship surfing woman. Again, enjoying the same waves that the ancient tribesmen did. There's some guys that are on some skis doing some good downhill snow skiing. Looks like they might be doing it for sport. Uh, got some weapons with them. Um, now today's man, hey, he's still seeing. He's got his own armor, man. He's he is completely ready for his GoPro too, so he can show everybody when he got home that he actually got out of his chair. Um, things with nature just don't change with men. And uh, what will the next century century bring? Well, I guess we're not going to know, but it's it's been fun.